Hi guys, this is Rishabh Kapoor from websofttutorials.com. In this video, guys, we'll talk about jQuery attribute selectors. Guys, attribute selector will select HTML element from its attribute, then it will apply some jQuery. It means, just for example, image tag has some attributes like its image has width attribute, height, alt. In the same way, just take an example of anchor tag, a tag. It has attribute like href for hyperlink reference title. In the same way, p tag or every tag has attributes like id class. So we can apply jQuery to any HTML element or tag by using its attribute. So, so firstly, guys, I'll create a a tag here. So href. So I'm not giving any hyperlink to it. So and uh, I'm giving the title of I'm giving it the title of home and uh, right home. So firstly, guys, I'll open it in browser and uh, I'll copy it and paste it four times. So and uh, I'll give it the title of about and uh, services and then contact. And I will change its name here about services and then contact. So, firstly, guys, I'll open it in browser. It's contact. Guys, now I will apply some jQuery to these A tags by using these attributes like href title. Depends upon your requirement. So, I will write dollar sign then two brackets then a sorry bracket uh, single quotes then a which tag we want to select then two brackets or uh, square brackets you can say two square brackets and in between these two square brackets firstly I will write title and then dot effect whatever effect you want to apply to it so I write fade out and it will be hidden in two seconds so guys it will select that a tag who has some title it doesn't matter what title is if any of a tag has title it will apply jQuery to that a, a tag so firstly guys I will remove this one now guys if I refresh now you will see it is hiding all p all a tags but not this a tag because this a tag has not any title if i'll give it a title then if i refresh it i will see every a tag is here so guys now i'll write title equal to now we'll write its value i want to hide that a tag who has a title value of services so I'll write services now guys it will hide this a tag who has title of services so firstly oh, so guys I'll open it in browser and refresh it now I will see it is hiding services a tag so guys now so guys firstly I'll give it a class I'll give it a class name of I'll write first I'll give it the class name of second third and then uh, class equal to fourth so guys now I will apply jQuery using the class attribute so I have remove it and I will write class select that a tag who has a class so if I refresh now it will apply jQuery to all a tags because every a tag has a class now guys I want to apply jQuery to that a tag whose class name starts with fi so I will write class and this sign I don't know the name of this sign so the sign equal to it's then 
F I. Now it will select that A tag whose class name starts with this F I characters. So if I refresh now, you will see it is applying to this A tag. So now in the same way, if I want to apply jQuery to that A tag whose class name end with D D character. No. So I write instead of using this sign, I will use a dollar sign and then I write D. So if I refresh, now you will see it is applying to second, not second and third A tag because its class name and ending with D and its class name ending with D. So guys, this was we were using using A tag. It depends upon your requirement. In the same way, you can use it with P tags like class equal to first so I write this is first class and uh, I'll copy it and paste it and I'll give it a name of class name of second okay I'll give it the ID instead of using class so I'll write this is second ID now I'll write here I'll write P instead of using a tag because we are selecting paragraph tag so firstly I remove it and inside these two square brackets we'll write select that P tag who has a class name of first so if I refresh now we'll see in the same way if I write select that ID who has an ID name of second So if I refresh now I'll see. In the same way guys, we can use this with image tags. We can use these attributes selector with all HTML tags because all HTML tags has some attributes. So I'll write image tag. Now my image is in the same folder and its name is 12. So I'll write 12 dot png it's a PNG image and I'll specify its width also. I'll write hundred and I'll copy it and I'll paste it and I'll give it a width of 200 so I'm using same image two times so if I firstly I will guys I will refresh it now you guys you can see two images one uh, width of first image is 100 and width of second image is 200 so now you guys I will apply this jQuery to this image tag so right IMG because I'm selecting image and then to square brackets in between these two square brackets I write width equal to 100 and then dot fade out jQuery function so two seconds means it will up select that image tag who has a width of 100 pixels so it will select the first one and then it will apply fade out function to it so first uh, so guys I will refresh it now you can see in the same way if I'll write 200 here now this image has width of 200 now it will select the same image, second image so if I refresh now you can see so guys this was about jQuery attribute selectors we were selecting HTML tags from its attributes so guys if you have any question in your mind yet then you can leave a comment below so guys Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe my channel to get recent updates about my videos. Let's see you in the next tutorial.